1999 Harvest Jazz and Blues Festival recently came to a close in Fredericton with a record number of people attending the event. This year's lineup featured some 50 acts, including local and international performers. Festival chairman Tim Yerksa says it's that mix of talent that makes the festival special. Uh, as much as people love seeing some of the headline acts like the Love Dogs from Boston or Steve Riley and the Mamu Playboys from Louisiana, some of those headline acts, part of what makes our festival special is, is the intimacy of the small venues and, and the fact that the homegrown performers are playing right alongside the international talent. It's all sort of happening and sort of melding together. This was the festival's ninth year, and Tim adds, it's been growing ever since. To include, well, this year it had uh, over 100 performances, uh, over 250 musicians in town, um, uh, 50 acts altogether, so 20 downtown venues all within walking distance. So it's sort of grown into a real solid little uh, downtown festival. And it, uh, you know, although it's little comparatively in the world compared to some other festivals, we're the largest festival of our kind now. Uh, east of Montreal and north of Boston. One of the festival highlights was the Boston-based band, The Love Dogs. I asked them about their unique sound. This band, the, the, the vibe that this band has, it's sort of like you ever go to somebody's house and they have like a Labrador and the thing will just not leave you alone. It's play with me, play with me, play with me, play with me. That's sort of the energy that this band kind of gives off. So I think that's sort of where it came from. People are great here. We love coming to Canada. Once we got, once we got through the drive through the hurricane, that was once we got done with that, everything's been great since then. The weather's been great. We've had great audiences. So they really put on a nice show here. Here's a down. often described as an originator of rock and roll, internationally renowned blues legend Curly Bridges took time out to share his thoughts about the festival with us. The people is just fantastic, you know. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better audience, you know. And it's good in Toronto too as well. But uh, this is great because it's more room, you know, like it's more people, you know. And then it's a three-day event instead of one day for me, you know. So I find it beautiful. Well, you think nothing of me. Baby, you said you don't love me. Another festival headliner was Ottawa native Sue Foley, who tells us she often gets compared to Bonnie Raitt. We always get that comparison. I think it's just... Um, She's like um, a reference point for a lot of people, you know, who don't know a lot about blues or whatever. Um, but she's been so popular that I think it's, it's really helped to the blues community. And uh, obviously her popularity in Stevie Ray's and Eric Clapton's has recently. And even Johnny Lang's has helped blues to become really mainstream.